In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we continue our look at the Video Collage Designer as it appears in version 17 of PowerDirector. If you have a version of PowerDirector before version 16, you do not have the Video Collage Designer. So we're going to show you more tips on how to use it if you upgrade to version 17. We'll also show you a few differences between version 16 and 17. In the previous tutorials in this series, we've showed you how to populate the different frames that you have with a combination of color boards, still images, or videos. We've also shown you how to take the various layouts that you have. There are 30 that are default and change the layouts using any number of combination of these images up to seven in the collage designer. And we've looked a little bit at some of the menu options, which in version 17 all appear on the right side, how you can change some of these options. In this tutorial, we're going to look more at timing in terms of using the advanced settings button. So we're going to click that in the lower right. When we do, we have this advanced settings screen that pops up. There are four options for playback timing in version 17, as opposed to three options in version 16. They have added one called from Multicam Designer. But you notice it's grayed out. I'm going to show you in a different tutorial how to start with the Multicam tool so that this is active and you can actually use it in this particular setting here in the collage designer. That will be a separate tutorial. So we're going to look at the playback timing and also at the box below which says match collage duration to and then it will give us some options. The default here is to have the playback timing begin all at once. I'll cancel out of that so you can see it. What that means is that every still image every video will begin at the same time. And I'll, I'll simply play it. We have our frames moving and they all begin at the same moment at the click of the, the mouse at the beginning of the collage in your timeline. So that is the default. Let's look at a couple other options though that we have here. We're going to click on advanced settings and do a delay. Now the delay is a delay of three seconds up to 60 seconds. That's the limit. The delay will apply to every single frame in your collage. You cannot have a delay of say 10 seconds between one and another and 15 seconds or, or 35 seconds between another. It's a, a common number of a delay that will impact every single frame that you have in your collage. Now let me show you what the difference this makes. We're setting this to five seconds. The other thing you have to re realize is that there's a sequence here. I'm going to click on OK. Now the sequence is what we see in the blue bounding box around our layout. And this layout says that the first slide to move will be the one in the lower left corner which is the highway, and then the waterfall will be second, uh, the woman will be third, and the wind turbine fourth. I cannot change which number in the sequence is assigned to which uh, particular frame. That's built in. Now the only way I can change things is I can say if I want the waterfall, for example, to be the first one to be animated and move, I can actually trade it. I'll drag and drop it on uh, number one. And now the waterfall is in this frame and it will be the first to run. And then my car going down the road will be my second. But I cannot change which number, the sequence of the frames. That's all built in. So if I play this with a five second delay, you'll see a bit of a difference. Let's go ahead and do that. We're starting out with the waterfall. Everything else is frozen now. They're not starting at the same time. Then we have after five seconds, we move to the car going down the road. And after five seconds, 
we have the woman and after five seconds we have the wind turbine. So that is the delay that I put between them. Now the delay also will impact your other options on the right. If I click on display color board, watch the difference here as it plays. Color board means I'm not active. So five seconds after this comes active, then five seconds later the woman, and then five seconds la later we have the wind turbine. So that will also impact this. And in this case, these videos are finished, so they go back to my color board when I'm using that particular option. Let's look at the third one. I'll go back to freeze the video and go to advanced settings, and this is one after another. Again, when we're using this setting, the difference here will be I don't have an interval. One plays immediately after the other, but only after the previous video or still frame uh, has finished. So I'll click on OK, and now we should have a 17 seconds of this waterfall playing before uh, we see the road move at all. We'll play that. And all of these things will affect the duration of your finished video collage, as you might imagine. So when we look at our time indicator at the bottom, when we get to the 17 seconds and we finish the first video, then we'll see the car moving down the road for the second. And when it's finished, we would see the woman. Uh, she begins to lift up her eyes and look toward the camera. Uh, when that is done, that will begin in a moment. There she goes. We have some motion. And then when that is completed, we would have the wind turbine. We'll stop it before we see that. That is the impact of that particular option. So which one you pick will determine the length of your finished video collage. Delaying will add length between the clips of however many seconds you choose. And one after another will obviously give you the longest video collage where one plays in a row after another. Now this is also true of a still image. A still image doesn't have any movement, but it still has time. So if I take this picture of a parade and drop it into my frame number one, I notice there's a clock on it. When I click on the clock, I have the option of changing the duration of the still image. Right now it's seven seconds. I'll click on OK. But if I play this in the settings I left it at, well, we have a seven second period where we see the image before it goes to the second frame and we see the car coming toward us down the road in the desert. So you don't have to have anything in, in animation inside your frame to have time control. It's always there no matter what, whether it's a color board, a still image, or a video. Uh, so you have to consider that they're all operating with timing for every item in every frame. Let's look a little bit more at that timing issue now. I'm going to click on Advanced Settings and drag my window up a little bit. And now we have another option that says Match Collage Duration to the default is all videos. So it says the duration of the entire project will be whatever it takes to play all the videos given the other settings we put in. Let's do the all at once again. Now I have the option to, to make the duration of the collage to the longest clip or the shortest clip or any particular frame. Let's go to shortest clip and click OK. Now the shortest clip we have here is our still image, which is seven seconds. So when I play it now, we have seven seconds and they're all starting at once because I told it to do that. But the, the others have lots of film left that no one will ever see because this frame here controls the duration of the entire collage. So at the end of seven seconds, it is finished. And if I move my indicator to the end and look at the time code at the bottom, we see it is exactly seven seconds. 
Let's try another one and see what the implications of that are. If I do a one after another, and I also do the shortest clip, let's see how that changes. Now in this case, I'm going to swap these two. And now my shortest clip is my fourth clip. But I have said I want the duration to be tied to the shortest clip when we do one after another. Let's play this one. And you notice that the windmill or the wind turbine keeps playing even though my shortest clip is seven seconds. Why isn't it still a seven second total project? That's because it's controlled by not only the duration, but the location when I choose that option. Because this is number four, the duration will be seven seconds. However, that only triggers when this clip begins to play. Let's change it again and I'll show you another difference. Let's take the picture and we'll move it and put it in slot number two. We'll go ahead and play again. And we have a 12 second windmill clip followed by a seven second shortest clip, which is our number two. And now it should be approximately a 19 second entire collage. And if we move it down, we see it's just about 19. So when you're trying to calculate the length of your entire collage, you have to consider both these settings that you've put into place and the sequence of the items. It can get rather complicated. <laughs> Let's look at another option here, match collage duration to, then we can just say a clip. Let's do clip number three here, and we'll click on OK. Clip three happens to be the woman, and if we were start to, starting to play this, we would see that the clip would be a total length of 21.01 seconds, which is actually the duration tied to her. I want to mention one other thing while we're here. You notice here I have clip one through four. That's because I'm working with a preset, a layout that has four frames. If I were working with one that has seven frames, I would have clips one through seven here listed. But the default of all videos is the easiest to use. You can use the other variations to accomplish different tasks if you chose to do that. We're almost done with our tutorials on the Video Collage Designer in version 17. We have one more to go for those of you who use Multicam, and that will be our next one.